guys, it's Cindy, mom here at Rising Above Autism. So I wanted to share with you one of our average nights at home. Actually, this was a more exceptional night uh, that we had yesterday. The entire day, it was uh, Memorial Day, and the entire day, not one single meltdown out of any of the kids, which is one of the most rare gifts we ever get at our house. Um, everybody seemed to get along. There was no hitting, kicking, biting, no screaming, no setting each other off. It was fantastic. Well, in every great situation, there's a bubble that has to burst. About 10.30, out of nowhere, uh, Madison, who had just gotten her reward of an Easy Bake Oven, she got to make her brownie in her Easy Bake Oven. Usually that makes her really happy. She instead just snapped. Um, she gathered up all her babies. It was bedtime anyway, so I didn't think much about it, but she gathered her babies. She went tearing off upstairs, and for some reason, Ellie and Charlie were already asleep. That never happens by 10.30 either. Um, and when she got upstairs, she threw her babies on the bed, um, and she proceeded to smack Ellie, who was already asleep, and pull her out of bed. So we have a video camera in her room and in Charlie's room because those situations happen more than we care to share. Um, so I went running upstairs and tried to prevent any more damage. I was just damage control really. Um, too late. Ellie grabbed her stuff, ran in and got into Teddy's bed. And I thought, okay, great. We're separating so I could handle Madison and get her to calm down. Instead, Ellie jumped up and jumped on top of Charlie's bed, who was, again, also asleep. So he didn't wake up all the way, so she started screaming and jumped on him again. So then he gets up and starts kicking. I had to yell for backup, so Rick came running upstairs and we kept trading off kids. We have Madison in one room, Ellie and Charlie in the other room. Um, kept trying to get Ellie to go downstairs. She wasn't cooperating. So then we had to keep trying to protect each kid, try to just keep them away from each other. Charlie came out swinging. Madison was screaming more than I've seen her in, I think ever. I mean, this was, this was an all time low uh, last night. And she was screaming, um, coming at us, uh, really just upset, making mean faces, very angry. Um, and shouting what we call her swear words, uh, words that just, you know, it's Disney quotes or whatever, but we know the meanings behind them. It's kind of like a, an F you kind of thing. Uh, when she says it in a certain way, you, you just know what she's meaning. So that seemed like it went on forever. Um, it started at about 1030, finally got everybody separated and kind of calm about um, 1130, maybe 12, it was probably closer to 12, got Madison to go up to her room so we didn't take anybody else upstairs. We kept Charlie and Ellie downstairs on separate couches. They both fell asleep, thankfully. And then we kind of went to bed around one. Uh, Madison had just fallen asleep, so we put Charlie in his bed in his separate room and let Ellie sleep on the couch. Thought at least they're separated. Um, hopefully they would make it through the night and they did, luckily. But I wish I could have videotaped it because it's one of those things that was unbelievable. You, you had to be there to experience it. I was ready to call the police to get back up because I didn't think Rick and I could handle it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I thought somebody was gonna seriously get hurt. Um, and sadly, we have nights like this all the time. Um, and it's increasing. It, it's getting worse. I don't know if it's hormone changes. I don't know if it's because we finally resorted to meds and they're not helping. Um, and all these doctors that swear by it, it's great, but if it's not working, it's not helping. It, they're, the kids are gaining weight and they're just as aggressive, if not worse. So families like mine need help. Families like mine are relying on our mental health system, and again, it's failing. We're, we're not getting the kind of help that we need. So um, I'm just sharing my story to kind of let people know this is what goes on in an autism house. This is what goes on 
every day, <laughs> every night, in the middle of the night, um, Madison attacks them in their sleep more than I care to count. Um, it's It's been getting worse lately. She's been really going through something lately that we're trying to figure out. Um, she can't communicate what she really feels, so she gets frustrated and then aggressive and abusive. And it's not okay. It's not okay for our house to not be a safe place for everybody to live. Um, so thanks for listening. Thanks for letting me get that off my chest. And please share this video uh, to let other people know the kind of nights that go on in an autism house, especially when you have multiples with autism, especially when they're as severe as the, it, the kids in our house. So I don't know. Just hoping for a better night tonight.